Concept number one for playing lead guitar in a three-piece band is punctuation and dynamics. Um, I like to incorporate, now I always use a pick, but I tend to put the pick between my first and second fingers and free up my fingers to play pick free. No time to set the pick down. So something that I have students do is carry your pick around for a few days. Even when you're eating dinner, you're not allowed to set it down. Just get used to, just like a drummer would twirl his sticks, get used to holding onto your pick both positions. So you, you can, can free up your fingers to be able to play or use your pick, just like magic. Okay? Now let me show you why. Uh, this first concept of punctuation uh, and dynamics comes from really being able to drill down with your right hand and how you play the note itself, each individual note. So if I'm going to take um, in the key of A, my A minor pentatonic. Now, instead of using a pick, I'm going to use my middle finger. And I will continue to hold my pick in the normal way. I'm picking each note with my middle finger. Uh, now, listen to a, a, a lick played with a pick versus just like a bass player that pops and slaps. Being able to pull your middle finger into the equation gives you that extra punch, that articulation, that dynamic. A lot of times we think of dynamics as like dropping the bottom out of a song and getting really quiet. That's one thing we're going to talk about in a minute. But right now we're looking at the dynamics and the punctuation of individual notes. So, now listen how quiet I can get. get from 0 to 60 in dynamic range with my middle finger. See, I'm just touching. And I get the most string um, interaction, which translates into sustain. The more um, that I can make that string ring longer, harder, uh, give it more energy. I'm always going to get that out of my middle finger as opposed to just a pick. And I use Dunlop, the nylon 60s, and there's a little bit of grip on here. So that always helps too. And I tend to use the, the round and not pointed end. So that always gives me a little bit more traction, but my middle finger gives me all the traction that I need and allows me to play quiet, okay? So that's one way that you can really work the dynamics of an individual note. And again, when you're in a three-piece band, it's about keeping things interesting. It's about engaging your audience, pulling them in, taking them on a journey, okay? So. Uh, dynamics with the middle finger. You can also use your ring finger and middle finger. And finally, using the pick and middle finger in combination. I'm playing some um, accents with my pick, some implied notes, or a note that's just really in passing. I'm using a hammer on and pull off. So to wrap up, punctuation and articulation, dynamics, they're, they're critical 
in any style that you play, but especially in a three-piece, because it's just you, a drummer, and a bass player. So uh, be sure to practice uh, anything that you're doing, holding your pick, and playing it with your middle finger. So you get that feel. You're going to need to build some calluses here because that finger can get tender. Uh, you don't want to overuse this. You want to use it to add punctuation and to add dynamics, both loud and soft. So practice your scales using your middle finger and look for ways that you can implement this to really bringing life and animating your playing.